Oh, it's happening again. Tell me this can't be happening again. Oh. <laughs> Hello all, Micromunch here. Welcome to another episode of my FM19 Aston Villa save. It is the Big 50. And it wouldn't be a landmark episode if it wasn't for some familiar traits. We've lost the last four games. Um, since the 1-0 defeat to Valencia in the second leg of our Europa League uh, second knockout round, we got beaten 3-0 by Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Uh, then got beat 3-2 by Liverpool in the uh, game at Anfield in the league, where we were actually 1-0 up, then 2-1 up, uh, and we conceded two goals in the 80th uh, to 90th minute, which was brilliant. And again, we threw away a lead against Southampton down at St Mary's and lost the game 2-1. We are in a bad run of form. I'm hoping that today we can put that to rest because it has made our Champions League qualification a little bit tight. And by that, I mean West Brom have played one more game than us, uh, but they are equal on points with us. It's 60 points each. They have a far uh, less uh, positive goal difference than we do, but at the same time, we can't afford any slip-ups. We've got a really hard fixture schedule between now and the end of the season, especially when you look at the fact that we've got Manchester United, City, West Ham are doing very well in the save, and Tottenham, not to mention Leicester away. And it, more importantly, obviously, we've got the Europa League thrown into that as well. So there's just so much going on right now, and we really need to turn the form around. And that starts today with a game against Rapid Vienna in the first leg of our Europa League quarterfinal. And you'll notice in the quarterfinals, there are a few other big ones going on. Arsenal v. Bayer Leverkusen is probably the standout one for me. Then you've got Sevilla and CSKA and Udinese in Tottenham. So I would imagine that the final four will probably be Sevilla, Tottenham, and either one of Arsenal uh, or Bayern Munich, and hopefully ourselves. And so we are going to go with the slightly changed lineup today. And by slightly, I mean it's been completely overhauled. New Bells and Goal with Reguil Park Parkji 1. Uh, Rudiger and Brie as the back four of Henderson and Miguel in the midfield with Alves, Tossum and Robert in behind Jack Lankis who leads the line today. We should win this game even with the second string. This is a massive gamble. Even if we can see the goal, I'm going to be really disappointed. Looking at the team, there's a few players I recognise. I recognise Moshe, I recognise Stambouli. Uh, I don't know any of the rest of the team. Uh, it kind of looks decent, but nothing spectacular. Um, Berisha, no, we should win this. Come on. Go go to the dressing room and say assertively, I fully expect to end our poor run of form. I did have a team meeting in the week and say that we need to pick up the form again. Otherwise, everything that we've strived to achieve this year is going to go to waste. Obviously, if we win the Europa League, we can qualify for the Champions League, which is the ultimate aim of this season. But I still want to have the security of being in a comfortable top four position at the moment. It's, it's not comfortable in the slightest. One slip up, and if West Brom carry on the way they're going, that we could easily be back in the Europa League again next year, and I don't want that. Oh, hello. Schobzerberger hits it, and Nubel has to make a save there. And it's been a very quiet opening 15 minutes for us. We've only had that one uh, chance so far from Felipe Alves and that free kick. Other than that, it's been very dull and not a lot really going on. Nubel claims it nicely there. We really need something from this game. And by that, I need a 3-0 win is what I need. So then I can rest up the boys again for the second leg. Rudiger into Robert. He's been very good in recent weeks, Robert, as we all know. He's been uh, still the man to go to for the big occasion. What is that from Jerry Tossum? Oh my god, what a hit. This is all about the strike. Robert picks it up. Tossum's probably about 40 yards out when he gets the ball, and he just carries it forward, and just from 25 yards, hits an absolute worldie. There is no other description for it. What a way to mark a landmark episode. What a goal. The one real good academy product that we've had in the entire save, and he's doing very well in the Europa League this year. That is a spectacular goal, and it's at a crucial time. Always good signs when they turn up in the big games. Alves now whips the ball in. Rudiger at the bat post. It's 2-0. The floodgates are opening. Good, good stuff. 2-0. Comfortable now. I'm feeling very good. All we need to do is keep a clean sheet and maybe get another one or two goals. And then we can rest up when we make the trip to Austria for the second leg. Gurton, come on. It's been a very good first half for us. And there's only two minutes of added on time. So I think we're probably going to see this through. Been very, very decent. Uh, and a good performance. And more importantly, apart from Reguilon, no really bad injuries. I'm wondering maybe if I take Rudiger off to be safe. Might be my best option. I'm going to get into the dressing room for the second half. Because I'm very pleased with the way it's going. That's well done. One thing I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to take Rudiger off. And I'm going to bring on Ross McCrory. And I'm going to put Miguel at the back. Because he can play as a defender. Not very well, but he can play as a defender. 56 minutes gone, Jerry Tossum picks up on a loose throw and he's driving at the defence. He hits it, hits the bar. Jerry Tossum is on fire at the moment. 
He just can't stop producing bits of magic. His long shots must be nuts. Done very, very well there. Unlucky not to get his second of the day and to make it three and really put the tie to bed. Only 20 minutes to go and what has been a, a quite a quiet game, but a very controlled one from us. We've not really had to kind of get out of second gear in this game so far, which is not really necessarily a bad thing, but I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, we'll go to the tactics and we'll make one more change. Jack Lancaster is going to come because he's been very disappointing today, and that's something I'm not getting used to saying. Um, but he, he's not playing his best at the moment. Guy Tan's going to come on, so we're going to put him out on the right, and Rebecca go to the left. Guy Tan just needs a little bit of Matt Sharpness to come back in, so 15 minutes here will probably do him the world. Ultimately, the most important thing about this game is that we stop the rot and we get a win. I wanted it to be an absolute hammering. At the moment, it's not quite the hammering that we were after, but we've done enough here as Robert goes on a very long Maisie run <laughs> that finish I'm not sure that's going to make the edit cut what a uh, <laughs> I love him but that was that was abysmal oh this could be a chance for them here El Nasiri up against Miguel oh god oh god oh my god Borussia's Mr. Sitter that was a real chance for them there to get a crucial away goal. We just, just got to be a bit careful. Park G1 got completely caught underneath the ball there. Didn't even have a clue where it was going. Well, they've had a lot of yellows, you dirty, dirty bastards. That's it. Full time is gone. 2-0 win in the first leg of the quarterfinals. And let's face it, I think we are pretty much through. Especially if we play a stronger lineup out in Austria. We should be alright. Happy, but could have been slightly better. How bad is Reguilon's injury? Yes. Three to four weeks, which means Fila is really going to have to step in for the time being. Jerry Tossum gets another Man of the Match award in the Europa League, and I am going to praise his performance for that. So you superb for a goal, mate. He's enjoying that. I'm enjoying it too. Well done, Jerry. And so now all eyes turn to the Premier League and a home game in a Midlands derby against Wolves. It's not great because we're literally just coming off the back of a, uh, a Europa League game. But having said that, if we played a, a weakened team. Um, well, we don't really have weakened teams, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, viewers, it is day of the Midlands derby against Wolves. They're currently 11th on the table. We are still 4th. I don't think West Brom have played another game yet. They haven't. Um, so, as it stands, we have a chance to suddenly go back three points ahead of them again. In terms of the lineup, then, we are going to go with what is essentially now our full strength team. Christensen's in goal with Fila, Rudiger, Mai, and Klosterman as the back four. Vile and Goretzka are in the midfield with Maria, Navarro, and Gaetan in behind Maximiliano Gomez up front. Just going to change that. There you go. They play much better when they play as two ball playing centre backs. I look at the team now and I just think we're so good like we should be comfortably top four now we really should we've kind of almost cemented ourselves in as that in that sort of like top six to make it a official top seven now but Wolves got some decent players there they got Andre Silva who's very good Matondo is a guy who gives me no end of problems on this game as is Avocado in the middle of the pitch with Uncham who I didn't realize is actually listed as a wonder kid at the start of this game he hasn't really kicked on so much though uh, for Wolves so we should really be winning this game Really, if we have any aspirations of finishing in the Champions League place, we need to win this. So I'm going to say I expect nothing but a win from this match. It's fired up quite a few of the lads. In terms of who's in form for us at the moment, from the first team point of view, you can't look any farther than Robert Navarro. And I'll show you why in a second. Because when you look at Navarro, even in the last five games, he's got two goals and one assist. But he's just been so good this year in his output. He's got 14 goals and four assists. I'd expect more assists, actually, for a guy who plays in the attacking midfielder role. But... He's just been crucial to the way that we've played so far this season. And I'm hoping he can put in a big performance today. I need him desperately to put in a big, big one. Put in a big one. Um, excuse me. Straight to Rudiger. And now, can we hit a little bit of a counter-attack here? Navarro, great switch of the play. Out to Gaitan. Gaitan into the, driving into the box now. Gaitan hits it. Can't quite wrap his foot around it enough to bend it into that far corner. But good, good opening signs from us here. 25 minutes gone. I've demanded a bit more of the boys. There have been no more highlights, but Wolves look like they have a chance here as Johnny throws it to Avocado. And he gives it to Hakim Ziek. Johnny now on the right. We've got problems when they put the balls in. Avocado into James Madison. Back to Avocado. Avocado to Uncham. Back to the Avocado. Back to Uncham. They're playing the ball around nicely, and I'm worried they're going to get a man over. Great ball by Matondo to Hakim Ziek, and a good save by Christensen. Great play by Wolves, and we're lucky that they didn't score there. I've got a problem here with Anthony, uh, Antonin Vial, who's looked nervous all game, and it was touted before the game kicked off that 
Borussia Dortmund were interested in him. This is another reason why it's so crucial now that we actually maintain Champions League football. Otherwise, I'm just going to continually lose our best players like Vile, like Navarro, like Pelé and Maria. I need, I need Champions League football. It's the, just the bare minimum requirement. And we're just playing so poorly. Lee Mason indicates it's the end of the first half and it's been a yet another disappointing performance. And I'm going to get aggressive with the boys and say that I expect far better. It's just not good enough. Gomez has been really out of form recently. Going forward, the only players that have been in any good form are Navarro and Gaitan. Other than that, we've been absolutely piss poor in recent weeks. Okay, well, the game kind of drifting away from us here because nothing's changed too much in the second half. I'm going to bring on Jack Lancaster and we're going to go try and maybe go for a 4-4-2. Uh, so we'll get him on the, the advance. So we'll get him playing up front with Gomez and then we'll get Vile and maybe actually we'll drop Navarro a bit deeper as well and get him playing as an advanced playmaker. Yeah, that will work. We'll try that and see how we get on. I know it, it's a bit risky, but I'm in desperate need of some goals right now. Maybe a little change of formation will do the job. I'm not 100% sure. In all fairness, Navarro is not having a very good game either. I always struggle towards the end of the season. I don't know if it's burnout. I don't know what it is, but it's pissing me off now. We're going to take Navarro off. On comes Jordan Henderson. He's going to play as the deep line playmaker now. And then we're going to let Vile just go and roam free. Get him on the attack. Get him moving forward. And actually, I'm going to take Gomez off. I'm going to bring Jerry Tossum on. So Tossum's going to go back. We're going to go back to the 4-2-3-1, but with a few different personnel. Because Gomez isn't doing anything to make me think that he warrants being our number one striker at the moment either. He's not getting any goals. We're all over the place at the moment in terms of a, a, an attacking unit. Just nothing's happening for us. I mean, look at the amount of shots we create. But just, I'm sick of goalies playing at 7.5s and shit. I'm just tired of it. Ten minutes to go. It's just going to be another nil-nil. It's just going to be another load of nil-nil shit. It's just so infuriating at the moment. Radjkovic is playing at seven point three. Piss off. Corner. Gaitan, please. Radjkovic claims it. This is going to be a Wolves goal. I can sense it. I can sense the breakaway. I can feel it. Radjkovic kicks it long. Feeler. Good touch. Come on, boys. Please. Fila hits one over the top. That's just completely aimless into nobody. Timon into Radjkovic. Hits it. Callum Wilson doesn't win the header, but Mai does. But we give it straight to bloody Avocado. Here's Callum Wilson. I'm just waiting for it. We're not even going to make... Oh, I don't know what that reaction was. I just... It's so... It's so not predictable. Not predictable in the slightest. Piss off! You just change your formation. You just try and go for it. No! Fuck you over. Love it. Love it. We can't even beat Wolves at home. We've got no chance. Corner. Gaitan whips it in. Jack Lancaster. He's got a goal. We've got a goal. Newsflash. Villa can actually score. The first team can score. The reserve team can score loads. But the first team... Haha. <laughs> no. Honestly... Really poor goalkeeping. It's really poor marking from the corner. I don't really give a shit. Well done, Jack. Gomez isn't starting the next few games. Because at the moment, I'll let you play anyone that can, f can score. Referee blows the whistle. 1-1. I'm incredibly annoyed. I'm incredibly disappointed. I'm sick of this. Just... Ah. Oh. Any aspirations of ever winning a title or doing well in the Champions League, we need to do better there. I'm not getting to the press conference because I'm too angry just too angry right now right in <laughs> right in terms of oh, I'm so angry. right in terms of the next episode then it depends on obviously what happens in the Europa League uh, quarterfinal I anticipate that we are going to go through which means that it will be a Europa League semi-final because all we have now is the Europa League and the Premier League so what I will do is is I'll play the Rapid Vienna game off of camera. It won't be in this episode. You'll find out at the start of the next if we did get through. If there is a shock, then expect some weird and crucial editing uh, and maybe some funny editing if I can laugh about it. But hopefully we won't need to do that. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I did until that Wolves game. Until I... <laughs> if you have enjoyed the episode, then please do like, share and subscribe and see me get even angrier and more annoyed by this team who I love for some inexplicable reason. Until I see you in the next episode, where hopefully there will be a Europa League semi-final. Stay cool. Unlike me, because I'm angry. Again.